I think what's clear if we just start from the beginning is, you know, our position since July was that daily testing was the best option. Um, and we've been pretty adamant about that. And I think if you look at what we did last year and the amount of positives we had last year versus this year, I think it's tough to deny that daily testing wasn't a huge uh, component of our success last year. Um, the NFL's never been a supporter of daily testing. They weren't a supporter of daily testing last year. Uh, we had to force their hand to get daily testing last year. Um, you know, fast forward now of multiple months into the into the season, we have the issue we were facing last week, and you know, we spent a lot of time trying to figure out where everybody stands on the issues. Uh, our membership felt like. You know, the vast majority of them have done everything uh, that's been asked of them. They've gotten vaccinated. They feel like they didn't want more testing. They didn't want more stringent protocols. The majority of our membership wanted to begin living, you know, in this pandemic as a new variant has come out that's more mild, um, though more contagious. Right. That was the position of the majority of our membership. Um, However, we still had a minority of our membership that that don't just want to walk into buildings without any checks or balances of, of what's going on inside. Of them. So it's obviously not an easy um, you know, balancing act to figure out how to go go forward through. So knowing that we tried to come up with the best path forward to provide options to everybody. We obviously had the opt out um, and then we obviously you know, provided ways for people to make their choices of how they wanted to live moving forward. Uh, unless you're in a current outbreak, there are no um, heavy restrictions on the protocols, but we've provided, obviously, anybody can wear a mask in the facility. Um, anybody can accept virtual meetings. Uh, those are optional for any player to make an individual decision. If they want to begin spending less time at the facilities for the rest of the season, you have that choice. Um, you have the option to test every day. You have the option for take-home tests for your families. Um, you know, our, our goal in the end was providing well, all groups of players, their options for how they wanted to move forward the rest of the season. The NFL's position last week was that those three games were going to be canceled. They weren't going to be pay, uh, played. And if they weren't played, then nobody on either team was going to be paid. Um, that's obviously an issue for us as a union when, uh, you know, over 18 percent of our player population was at risk of not getting paid last week. Right. So our position was that we needed to make sure all games are played in order for our guys to get paid. Um, and that was our position. We took a vote with the executive committee of the union, which voted unanimously that our position needed to be that games need to be rescheduled and not canceled. Uh, and we pushed the league for that uh, resolution. 